Hey Deckers, Valve surprised everybody and dropped the Deadlock playtest. Well, it's invite only and there's a bit of a hitch on the Steam Deck. Officially, it's not supported, but it kind of is. More on that in just a second, but it is able to be ran and I was able to play a few multiplayer matches and my teams actually won as well. So this is performing okay. It's not the best, but as I said initially, you are not going to be able to play this on the Steam Deck as when you try to go into this play queue, you will get an error message on the Steam Deck that actually says that matchmaking is not supported. Yep, you read that right. Matchmaking is unsupported for the Steam Deck. It's pretty clear, but we can get around it in one of two ways. One is to go to the watch menu and pick a stream. Pick one that doesn't have loads of viewers. Otherwise, it does seem to time out. And then once you're spectating, you can then open up the menu and you'll have a second play button. This one isn't locked and then you're able to join the queue and go and play a game at your will. Now be aware that when you're joining games, as this is a development build, there can be some issues with the matchmaking. Sometimes you get stuck in this screen. So if you're in this screen for more than a minute or two, and you'll see a red warning up in the top right that you can leave, then quit and start again. This also doesn't have controller mappings right now, but there was a couple of community mappings that weren't quite right. So I've modified those and also published it as the SDG deadlock remap. So you can test this out. It will still need a few tweaks for your own liking, but it will get you into game and up and running. Settings wise, there isn't a huge amount to play with here, but going on the pretty much lower settings will be where you need to be and I'll show you why in just a second. If you don't want to join games via the spectate route there is a command that you can put in the command line before you start the game which you may be familiar with already for some of these games to turn the compatibility for Steam Deck off. So if you go into the general section under launch options and say Steam Deck equals zero, case sensitive with the S and the D so make sure you get those right and then percent command percent. Then when you run this, you will no longer get that warning when you go over the play button. In game, it starts off okay, even with those not quite lowest settings, we bounce around the 30 frames per second mark and it doesn't look too bad. However, it quickly descends into utter chaos in this game around mid game. These frame times and frame rates really hit the floor and even on the minimal settings. In normal combat, things can get pretty hairy, but when you're near the Guardian, and you've got a lot more players and AI around as well. These frame rates really do hit the floor. Would be okay if it was temporary, but when you're really in the thick of battle, it does sit pretty low and it can get a little bit challenging. You need to back out of those fights. So it'll quite quickly go between 30, 40 or 10 frames per second. And as I said, when you get into the real thick of it, then those frame rates absolutely bottom out. Now this is a very early build. So this isn't designed really for the handhelds at the moment or optimized as well as it could be. I think as Concord flopped as badly as it did, Valve didn't feel too bad about putting out this playtest early, especially as it kind of leaked, and I'm all for it. This is a phenomenal game with a mashup of Dota 2, Team Fortress, and a bit of Bioshock thrown in there as well. Matches can last quite long. I've had matches last around 20 minutes to half an hour and one fairly long one at around 45 minutes. You do get punished if you quit out early, so make sure that you have the time to play your full match if you do get into a game. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be watching this one and being able to get in. It's invite only for now. And if you add me on Steam as Marchief, then maybe I'll get you an invite in game. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.